ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We are here with the 2019 Glenelg Christmas Pageant. I am Paul Roberts, along with... My name is Jenna Hudson. And we're going to bring you all the excitement of that beautiful day it was, Jenna. Yes. The streets were lined yes. with people. What a day it was. There was so much festive cheer in the air. Amazing, amazing participants in this year's pageant. I can't wait for you guys to see. Absolutely. So we won't wait any longer. Let's bring all the excitement of the Glenelg 2019 Christmas pageant. Let's do it. Woo! And here we are, Paul. It's the Christmas pageant. It's the Glenelg Christmas pageant. Well, it's about time the pageant is getting underway. And look at this, all the beach house elves are oh, making their way. Don't they look fantastic? I just love going to the beach house. Honestly, one of my favorite childhood memories. Well, it's a fun place. My memory's a little bit older. It used to be a big mountain once upon a time, but uh, now ma it's... Magic Mountain, was it? That's the yeah, one. But the go. beach house now, one of the, the, the best state of the art fun time for the kids. I would say it's a little bit of a stuff for Sherlyn. I think. Absolutely now, absolutely. <laughs> and of course they're going to be taking Santa down there at the end of his trip to see all the kids. Oh fantastic, I can't wait to see him. Oh and here comes Mayor Amanda Wilson. Doesn't she look great? Absolutely. And she's got a couple of kids on board from the Starlight Foundation. How beautiful. And look at that carriage they are riding in, that horse. Arriving in style. You know, <laughs> Absolutely. That's, that's what it is. When you're the mayor of Glenelg and you're having the biggest <laughs> Christmas pageant, it's time to arrive in style. That and is that's what every she's done. princess's fairy tale dream right there. Uh, I'm sure those kids are enjoying <laughs> the ride down Jenny Road. And it's such a beautiful day as well. The weather really showed up for us. Absolutely, we've been lucky. It has been a bit cold and wet just recently, but today it, it knew it was going to be the it pageant. Did. They knew the sun that was shining. Everyone, was all the boys and girls, were going to be out with their chalk drawing down Jetty Road this morning. And Mayor Amanda Wilson there once again. She has a degree in law and business, which is quite interesting. Oh, well, she'd be a busy, busy person. She would, she and would. Here we go with the Glenelg Brass Band making their way down, looking great in their suits, ready playing the Christmas carols. Don't they look dapper? Absolutely fantastic. And I love the variety of instruments we're in here as well, actually. We've got the brass instruments, we've got drums. Absolutely fantastic. And they look great and they sound great too, which is just amazing. Oh, absolutely. All the fans here down Jetty Road listening to these great Christmas carols as we see the, the bands making their way through. And they are actually a community band and they hold regular concerts throughout the year. Um, I think you can actually see them playing Christmas carols at the um, Brighton Christmas Carols event this year. Oh, absolutely. So if you get a chance, go and check them out there. And if you like big brass bands, jump on the uh, websites and, and find, uh, find the Glenelg Brass Band. You'll be able to go and check them out. Yes, yes. And I will be singing carols all day long now, thanks to these guys. <laughs> Oh, and here comes the Baden Patterson Kindergarten making their way along. Oh, it's so beautiful to see families enjoying the Christmas pageant. I think that's one of the best things about the Glenelg Christmas pageant. It just brings community and families together, which is what we're seeing here with the Baden Patterson Kindergarten group. Oh, absolutely. You can see everyone, all the kids having a ball, even though they've been going for quite some time down Jetty Road. They do. You'd be surprising how long that walk is, actually. So good for them. And it was. It was a little bit of a warm day too, so they're doing very well. Oh, I'm sure they're all looking forward to, to a visit to uh, the big man himself the big once man. they get through that's the pageant. That's right, that's right. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a lot of yellow coming down the street Woo! now. Oh, Dances and, by Donna. And they're moving. They are moving and shaking and doing a lot of dance moves that I'm not even going to ever attempt. To uh, yeah, with. absolutely. I'm with you on that one, <laughs> uh, Jenna. But the Dancers by Donna is a fun and vibrant dance school based down at Hallett Cove, oh. which were established back in 2008. So uh, if you're interested in this sort of dancing or any sort of dancing, uh, get in contact with uh, Dancers by Donna. Gosh, I could absolutely learn a thing or two. Now, now I hear that they do not only this type of dancing, which is a, a kind of Latin ballroom style dancing, but they also do jazz, hip hop, and lyrical. So there's there's a dance oh, type for everyone. Just there. about anything you want. So. Exactly, and, and there's a wide variety of ages as well, which I think is fantastic. And, and dancing is about self-expression, and I think and, that's a lot of what we're seeing here. And how they're dancing for this long in high heels, 
I, uh, I'm, that's Gosh, beyond me. I have no idea at all. Um, this is actually run by Donna. Um, she's the lead guitarist for The Babes. Well, there you go. A music group to check out The Babes if you get a chance. Absolutely. And check out The Dancers by Donna. The multi-talented lady right there. Triple threat even if she can act too. <laughs> <laughs> I just love their costumes. I, I love that they're fun and bright and colourful. And they're, they're, at the moment, we're obviously seeing some of the younger students being accompanied by by some older students. But they just look amazing, and they look like they're having the time of their lives. Oh, the boys so are the boys are there as well. Looking very swanky there. Spreading Christmas cheer all around. Oh, look out. You uh, know all about this one, I Jenna. do, I do. This is my crew. This is Nova919 we're seeing right here. Big shout out to my boy, Moggy on the scooter. We're seeing him right now. Make sure he doesn't run <laughs> over anyone. Oh, the little Picassos. I loved seeing these guys because they have got the most beautiful artwork that they're holding up right at the front. It is Christmas themed artwork. Um, a lot of the Nutcracker is what I'm seeing. Oh, they're certainly very colourful and, and spreading their Christmas cheer as they make their way down Jetty Road. I can see all sorts of things there. There's a mouse and a soldier. Oh, lots of Christmas stuff happening on their artwork there. Beautiful to see, seeing everyone getting creative. And Little Picasso's is actually um, based in the Holdfast Bay Community Centre, which is, is definitely worth checking out. Next up, we've got Kappa. Um, in a friendly, nurturing family atmosphere, Kappa actually aim for excellence and correct technique and discipline in understanding the performing arts, um, which I think is great. It, educating kids about discipline through art form is, is amazing. Well, absolutely. So uh, Kappa all in their red, obviously uh, looking very red there for Christmas as they... Uh, oh, they're, they're dancing as they're they... Dancing. As they make their way down to the end of Jetty Road and it's a... A long, long way from one end to the other. It, it mightn't is, seem, seem too is. much, but when you've been dancing, walking, and yes. saying hello to all the boys Absolutely and girls. Absolutely everyone, yes. And speaking of triple threats, which we mentioned earlier with Dancers by Donna, I think these kids would be triple threats in the performing arts, which is fabulous. Ah, now we're followed up with the Dunbar Terrace Kindergarten, another big family group, all dressed colourful making their way down Jetty Road for the Christmas pageant. Yes, and they again have got beautiful art. Um, they're all dressed as baubles, which is fabulous, and they've designed them themselves, put them together with the help of parents and teachers, and they look like they're having so much fun, which is just beautiful to see. And Dunbar Terrace um, Kindergarten actually offers a learning environment that encourages their children to actively engage with their surroundings so they're, they're quite holistic in their teaching which I think is beautiful through through letting self-expression come through through their art forms and they're obviously very well supported by parents and teachers there. Uh, we've even got a stormtrooper showing up to uh, join <laughs> him in this one with his Batman bag. Hey, you could have worn a Santa hat at least. <laughs> Uh, here comes the Glenelg Primary School making their way. I drive past Glenelg Primary School almost daily and I must say, it looks very pleasant. Well, there's a lot of <laughs> Christmas outfits there. We've got a Christmas pudding and... A and Christmas cracker, I think I see. But they're actually holding up their, um, their key school values. Respect, fairness, sailing ahead to success. And I think there was one more, but I'm not sure where it's gone. Oh, oh here, here we, we go. go. Responsibility, responsibility, which is always a good one to teach them. <laughs> Absolutely. And as I said before, it's just so great to see students, families, kindergartens all engaging with, with the local Holdfast Bay community, which is fantastic. And it's good to see them all still smiling by the time they've made it all the way down. Yes. So their, their little feet must be hurting by this stage of the game. I bet they'll be heading to the beach house after this. I've got a good feeling. 